We're making a simple Hello World program in Millennium 3, but I'll teach you a simple understanding of AND and OR logic gates too. Starting out, drag one discrete input from the In Out tab. You can change the icon if you like. I like to change it to the selector switch with the 0 and 1 icon. That's my personal preference, but I'll explain the reasoning later in the video. Next, click the third tab, HMICOM, and click and drag out an LCD display. Double click into the display. Under the user option, type any text you would like to display. In my case, I'll put Hello World. Press OK, then connect the two icons together. Now we can simulate. When you simulate, and if you don't see the front panel window, you can go to Window and click Front Panel. Okay, once you have your front panel visible, you can click on your input to display your message. That's pretty simple. Let's take it up a notch. Notice on the front panel, it has A, B, Escape, Minus, and Plus buttons. We can use these buttons in our program. So back to edit mode, let's start with AND logic. Under the Logic tab, drag out an AND logic gate, then under HMI COM, drag out the A button. Connect the nodes like so. To explain it very simply, oh actually, this is the reason why I changed the input icon to a selector switch because it helps me think that I'm working with an on, off physical switch when programming. But also, you could have a physical switch connected to input 1 on your actual PLC. Anyways, to explain this AND logic, all of its inputs need to be active in order to output a TRUE. So in this case, the selector switch would need to be turned on, and the A button would need to be pressed to display the text. Let's simulate. So I turned on the selector switch, and on the front panel, and nothing happened. Then I press the A button, while the selector switch is on and you see the text has displayed. For the OR logic gate, we'll do a mix of both of these logics together. Back to edit mode, under the HMI COM tab, drag out the B button, and under the logic tab, drag out the OR logic gate. Then connect the nodes like so. How the OR logic works is any of its input is active, it will output a true. So if you press either the A or B button, the output will light up. So in simulation, we still have the AND logic gate. So we need the selector switch to be turned on, and by pressing either the A or B button, we get the text to display. I hope you learned something in this video. Comment down below what would you like me to explain next. I look forward making more PLC videos soon.